Hey y'all, welcome to Hot Springs! Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jessica. If you're new here, hello and welcome. Today I'm taking you along with me um, as I explore Hot Springs, Arkansas with a couple of my friends from the Babes That Wander. We're here to check out their shortest ever St. Patrick's Day parade that they throw every year and check out Hot Springs and all the awesome things that this little town has to offer. So if you're interested to see some cool things to do in Hot Springs and also check out their pretty wild St. Patrick's Day parade, then just keep watching. So first things first, we got checked into our really adorable little Airbnb. It's this really cute little little cottage so if you're looking for a place to stay you don't want to go the hotel route you may want to get a cute cozy little airbnb this is a great one i'm going to take you inside and give you a quick little house tour woodland tudor cottage is an airbnb that you can either book via airbnb or on their website i'll have all that info for booking this cute spot linked below i love the way it was decorated it felt homey but also very chic the owners truly thought of everything you could need too it had all the comforts of home with two bedrooms, one bathroom, and a futon couch, you could sleep five people in here, but I'd say it more comfortably fits three to four. The backyard was also so huge and so beautiful, perfect for relaxing in the sunshine. After getting settled into our Airbnb, our first order of business was to head downtown for some drinks and dinner. The famous St. Patty he used to teach about the Holy Trinity using three big clothes. You learn something new every day. This is Central Avenue, basically the main street of Hot Springs. Here you'll find awesome hotels, bars, restaurants, shops, and all the bathhouses. It's a really quaint and historic downtown area with tons of charm. For dinner, we headed to Waters, which is a hotel with a rooftop bar restaurant called The Rooftop. Original, right? I don't think that Hot Springs, Arkansas is ready for the level of fabulous that the babes that wander are. Really really as soon as we got off the elevator, we spied this huge group of guys all dressed in green suits, so of course we had to go out and get a picture with them, obviously. I'm the most important person, so make sure I'm Oh, oh shit. Here, Jessica. Oh, 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 there you go, Tyler. <laughs> Apparently, these guys call themselves the shenanigans. They're college friends who spend St. Patrick's Day in a different U.S. city each year. This guy's t-shirt will show you all the places they've been. Pretty crazy. The rooftop bar is the only rooftop in Hot Springs, and it really gives some stunning views of the downtown area. The weather was perfect that night, and we definitely enjoyed some delicious cocktails and food on their outdoor patio. Don't miss out on these pork shoulder nachos. They were everyone's favorite. It might be St. Patrick's Day, but we are starting the day on a calm and tranquil note at the Garvin Woodland Gardens. Definitely a must stop when you're visiting Hot Springs. This lady definitely wore her green today. We were lucky enough to have a VIP tour of the gardens with an amazing tour guide, and she was incredibly knowledgeable about the gardens and their history. Good morning. It's our first full day here in Hot Springs, Arkansas. We're starting off the day with a tour of Garvin Woodland Gardens, and our first stop here is this stunning chapel. Let's go inside and take a peek. Anthony Chapel is a glass chapel that was built in 2006 and designed by architects Maurice Jennings and David McKee. It is designed to reflect and complement its woodland surroundings. It's actually free to visit this chapel as it is technically outside the ticketed area of Woodland Gardens, but make sure to check ahead of time to make sure the chapel isn't closed for a private event or a wedding. This church is absolutely stunning. Imagine getting married here, that would just be absolutely epic. This view. This is Skinny Get Code. Fourth of July weekend, Memorial weekend. It is full of boats. Kind of no, it's not as uh, wild it's as it was back <laughs> not in my day, but. <laughs> Garvin Gardens was started by Verna Cook Garvin, who began planning to build a home here on the shores of Lake Hamilton. She started developing gardens on the property, planting hundreds of ornamental and native trees and shrubs. Her husband died unexpectedly in 1975, so the home was never built. She then focused all her attention to her gardens, which she bequeathed to the U of A School of Architecture in 1982. These are all hand planted. Wow. So what? we plant 150,000 tulips. Wow. You heard her right. They plant 125,000 tulips each year, and then after they've bloomed, they dig up the bulbs and sell them. If you want to see the tulips in their full glory, make sure to visit between mid-March and mid-April. Next, we headed into the Japanese garden. The Garden of the Pine Wind, a four-acre rock and stream garden located on the property, has landed Garvin national recognition as it was voted the fifth best Asian garden in North America. So we're walking up to the tree house. This looks so cool. 
This treehouse is one of three planned for the gardens and provides a rich visual and tactile environment to stimulate the mind and body to strengthen connections back to the natural world. It's definitely also a really great photo op too. me now. We did a quick outfit change. We just finished up at Garvin Woodland Gardens. It was such a beautiful experience. Definitely make sure to come here when you're visiting Hot Springs. I think this dress says I'm ready to get the St. Patrick's Day festivities started. What do you think? Right. We are ready for the St. Patrick's Day parade festivities to start. You're too fabulous for this town. I know. They're not ready for us tonight. No. We headed into the Hot Springs Convention Center for the VIP lunch for the shortest St. Patrick's Day parade. I wasn't quite sure what we were in for, but we had our VIP media passes, so we were ready to go. Hey, aren't kilts Scottish? Besides the buffet and open bar, the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders were in attendance along with Danny Trejo and Cheech Marin. They had a whole crowning ceremony for the Shamrock King and Queen. I guess they're kind of a big deal. Hey, we even got a little time with Cheech and Trejo. We got done with our VIP lunch. We got to meet Danny Trejo and Cheech. Now we're gonna head to the Main Street area, check out a couple pubs, walk around, and then get ready for the parade later. This is my first of two St. Patrick's Day outfits. <laughs> this is the 98 foot stretch of street that we are going to be parading on later. It is so small. They weren't lying when they said the shortest St. Patrick's Day parade ever. That's it. That's all she wrote. People were already out camping for the parade around 2.30 p.m. Not us though, we were out in search of some hot spring St. Patty's Day fun. We'd heard some great things about the copper penny, so we stopped in to grab a drink. The day off. Yes, St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> it's a holiday. It was definitely super lively in there. Off the main street, they have a water fountain where you can fill up your water bottles. This is water straight from the hot springs. It is hot water though. It's hot? Yeah, this is like, I can make some hot chocolate. <laughs> oh, never mind then. <laughs> Hot Springs definitely has a lot of interesting gangster history. There's actually a gangster museum you can check out on the main street if you have time. Specifically you were. Wow, that is amazing. We are, and all we did, we ran into two beautiful ladies right. in the middle of all of this. Now I'm you free think? for the rest That's of the afternoon. Look at that gold beard. Yeah. And the well, sunnies, oh man. You can pay me if you want to. Seriously, it's so fun. We're running into some of the most crazy characters on this street, and everyone is just out here having a blast. This is the St. Patrick's Day I always wish for. Yes, same. My I God. think that everybody just took a day off to drink. I think so. It's an Irish holiday. Yeah, and if absolutely. you're not Irish, you just pretend you're Irish on St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, they're accepted. We popped into Augustine Wine Bar for a cocktail, and they had an oxygen bar of all things. I felt like I was back in 2002. Definitely a novelty for sure. We loved the back patio though. It was perfect for a glass of wine on a nice day. After a while, it was time for us to find our way to the Hot Springs Fire Station to take our place in the parade. Here at the Hot Springs Firehouse, we're gonna get a little tour before we get on the fire truck to start the St. Patrick's Day Parade, which is exciting. I've never been in a firehouse before, so this is super fun. Not authorized to do this. <laughs> That's fun. Oh, it's wild. Oh, wait, there's a floor. You drop on it, it'll actually open up. Oh, okay. Just got an awesome tour of the fire station here in Hot Springs, and we were about to hop on to one of these fire engines and uh, ride into the parade. This is my first parade, guys. I'm pretty, pretty stoked for this. Everyone's getting lined up and in order. pretty awesome to be in a parade. I feel like I was made for this.
After all that St. Patty's Day fun, we were ready for something a bit more mellow the next day. So we headed to Bathhouse Row for a nice healing soak. Well, good morning. It is so early. I'm tired from yesterday's St. Patrick's Day fun, but we woke up bright and early to come to Claw Paw at Bathhouse. This is one of the things that you gotta do when you come to hot springs. All of these bathhouses are built over naturally occurring hot springs and the water is siphoned into the bathhouse so you can go in and soak in the mineral water. It's really rejuvenating. This used to be the capital of the off season for the MLB. Back in the early 1900s, people like Babe Ruth used to come here in the off season and soak in the baths and heal and rejuvenate from the baseball season. So we're gonna go check it out. It's supposed to be a pretty different experience, not like your typical spa. So we're gonna take you inside and show you around. Entrance to the baths here is first come first served and costs $25 a person. Make sure to bring a swimsuit and some pool shoes with you. Once inside, there are three different pools to choose from that are all set at different temperatures, and they recommend you soak in each for intervals of 10 to 15 minutes. Hot Springs water has been enjoyed for thousands of years, and in fact, the water is carbon-14 dated at 4,000 years old. I'm ready to soak off all the, the ish that I did to my body yesterday, St. Patrick's Day. My body is freaking tired from all that walking, so I think this is going to be just what the doctor ordered. The water is safe to bathe in and drink because of the fact that these springs are not volcanic but are due to the unique folds and fault lines in the Ouachita Mountains. Essentially, rainwater falls through these fault lines, travels six to 8,000 feet below the surface of the earth, picking up all kinds of minerals like silica, calcium, calcium carbonate, magnesium, and potassium along the way. 4,000 years later, that water is forced back up to the earth's surface into the spring. Came away yesterday. Come on, mineral water. Inside of it, only in, like the wine was out of the building and almost wrapped around the block. So yeah. like, this is the thing to do. Bathhouse Silvery here on Central, and we're gonna go check it out, get a little demo of some of their soaps, their products. This is a really cool female owned business here in town, so definitely wanna come check this out while you're here. They have some amazing soaps in here, so let's go inside. If you love Lux bath bombs, body butters, scrubs, and more, this shop is going to be your heaven. Here, everything is handcrafted here in Hot Springs. We do make it. We've got a large online piece um, and a couple other soap boutiques, but it is originated and created here in Hot Springs. Specialized, obviously, beautiful bars of soap, but what you guys are going to love and I've got Victoria's Secret, if you guys are familiar with that one. We've done it in the soap bar for years, but we finally just decided to introduce it. There's a soap oh my god, that is so fun. So we finally decided to introduce it in the. And there we go. And it's going to bubble. It looks like a cake right now. It honestly doesn't matter. That one is specifically for your hands. But even rub it dry for about 30 seconds and then rinse it off. And I'm telling you, your hands are going to be soft for a week. Oh my god. Yeah. I can already feel how soft they feel. It's so good. Don't look at the fact that I lost one. my hands on here now. Just a little bit. Yes. Honky tonk man, you definitely have some interesting scents. I had a oh, yeah, it definitely like, smells like a man. man. I'm gonna go with goddess. Yes. Oh, lotion. <laughs> they just they it's wild. That smells so good. Got it. After all that soaking and shopping, we were hungry. We headed to Superior Bathhouse Brewery for lunch and some local brews. Everyone in town seems to love this place, and it's easy to see why. This is the only brewery in a U.S. national park, and it's also the only brewery in the world to utilize thermal spring water as their main ingredient. This is our beer bath grill. It is a beautiful order, so one will be right here, and one will be around this one in 18. Okay, so we're going to get some beer bath grill. Okay, let's get some this brewery was once Superior Bathhouse. It was vacant for 30 years and then reimagined as a brewery, tasting room, and full-service, family-friendly restaurant. I love that it's also a female-owned and operated establishment. Definitely get the beer bath when you visit so you can try everything. The food is also so good. We love the beer cheese dip and I loved my Cuban sandwich, but you really can't go wrong with anything on their menu. We're about to go into Fort. Or how do we say this? Fortis. 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 Fort, Fort, we're gonna find out. We're do a tour. This is like a really historical bathhouse that they used to use back in the day. So they're gonna take us around, show us the history of hot springs. It's a museum. Let's go check it out. We were lucky enough to have a guided tour through the bathhouse, but you can tour the Fort Ice on your own pace as well. Oh my God, that looks like a torture device. This is a vapor cabinet, so there's actually there would be a bench inside, and so your attendant would open up the door, open up the top, and you would. 
would be exposed and they would wrap towels around your head so that way that your lower body would out of steam. It was like, they called it a head out of steam. Depending on what it was that you were prescribed by your doctor, because most people that came here only came with the doctor's prescription. They just walked in and were like, hi, here's the fast place. They'd be like, okay, but where's your prescription? This was like such a practice that people believed in the working way. Actually, a lot of the treatments in here were specifically for things like arthritis, the Fordyce opened on March 1st, 1915 and was founded by Sam Fordyce, who wanted more people to experience the incredible healing he had experienced in the hot springs. This bathhouse was considered very luxurious in its time, and you can see that with all the marble and stained glass throughout. Back in 1915, it would cost 50 cents per bath. The Fordyce was a place that focused on all aspects of your health. Many baseball players also used to frequent this bathhouse and would train in this gym. When the water would be pumped up, it would be pumped into these storage tanks. Down here, there also used to be this massive ice machine that could produce like 600 pounds of ice. And that's what was used to cool the water down for people to be able to bathe in safely, to drink safely. And so the Ford Ice was like renowned for having this insane ice machine. Here you can see the actual spring that the Ford Ice is built over. It's crazy to think that this is rainwater that fell 4,000 years ago. If you thought the St. Patrick's Day fun was over, oh, you are mistaken. We headed back later that day to the Bridge Street area for another free concert, this time with Sugar Ray. So we just got back from backstage, we went to hang out with Sugar Ray for like 3 30 minutes, they're about to go on set, we basically, we're with the band now. If you believe that, you believe in the 90s! Is it all of you guys that live here want to tell the stories? You want to tell the history of why Hot Springs is so cool! To say that we had fun at Sugar Ray's concert would be an understatement. We had a blast. It was definitely like a little bit of SoCal in the South, and the band put on a great show. We even got to go up on stage with them for a song, which was totally epic. The luckiest band in the world, and I'll tell you why. Because they're beautiful people like you go, yeah, I remember that. You guys still come out. So on behalf of Sugar Ray, all of us here tonight, thank you so much! You truly are number one. This we popped into Splash after the show was over for a glass of wine. This is definitely a local's favorite spot and a great place to grab some vino and a charcuterie board. They also have a great patio out back. If you're looking for an easy day trip outside of Hot Springs, you can go digging for crystals at some of the surrounding quartz mines. We're at Avant Mines this morning. This is a really fun place that you can check out. It is about a 40 minute drive outside of Hot Springs. It costs about $25 per adult to come out here. And this is a public dig site. So you can come out and dig for your own gemstones. Try to find some quartz. Checking it out, might do a little digging. Maybe we'll find something good. So now we're going to check out the commercial mine area where the miners, the real miners, are doing the digging. We're out here in the middle of nowhere. It's a little baby one. This is what people are after. It gets over 10 grand, and you know. <laughs> I would never tell you. That's yeah, when we jump in the car, I'm like, we'll see you later. I didn't see it. I was trying to pull this piece off. It didn't work out. <laughs> they use metal tools, hand tools to get the stuff out, uh, hammer and chisels. They don't want to take the crystal out most of the time because the crystal clusters are very, you know, valuable. Growing clusters, real long, skinny point. We didn't strike it rich, but we definitely all came back with a little bit of sparkly quartz. We worked up quite the appetite digging for quartz, so we headed to McLeod's Barbecue for some lunch. This is a fourth generation family owned business with a rich history here in Hot Springs. <laughs> Imagine. Wow. Yeah. Let us take a peek into their smoker. I can't imagine having to work back here in the heat of summer, but everything smelled incredible. McLeod's is well known for their barbecue sauce, which definitely has a kick. They pride themselves on using the best quality ingredients and their tried and true family recipes. I mean, it's easy to see why they have so many famous fans lining their walls. Definitely come hungry. Their portions are generous. <laughs> this is so big. How do I even eat it? Right, right. <laughs> So good. 
As it was St. Patrick's Day weekend, we were feeling a bit lucky. So after our delicious lunch, we cleaned up to head to Oak Lawn Racing Casino and Resort to take in the races. The lobby at Casino is stunning, modern, and luxe. It's truly a world-class destination where you can stay, play, eat, and drink. Their state-of-the-art casino is newly expanded and is open 24-7. The track at Oak Lawn has a storied history as one of the premier thoroughbred racetracks in the country since 1904. They are best known as the home of the Racing Festival of the South. So we're here at Oak Lawn Racetrack and Casino. We're taking in some races today. It is a beautiful day outside. It's a great day to be here at the track. We just got here. I totally always forget how to bet on horses when I come to races, so I'm going to have to remember. Cross your fingers for me. Hopefully I can win some money. Today's outfit was inspired by Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman. How do you think I did? You were the horse? <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> this infield is actually free admission to the races and a great place to come hang out on a beautiful weekend afternoon. The seats don't get better than this, do they? <laughs> the front row to the roof. We got to take in the races from all different vantage points. Of course, you can't come to the races and not enjoy some cocktails. So we went to First Turn, which is one of several bars located in the casino. I went with a mint julep, of course, but it also boasts a great view of the first turn of the track. All right, so we bet on, who did we bet on, guys? Bet on green. Bet on green? Green. Yes, green is lucky this week. And show. To show. To show. Not to win yet. We didn't go that big. Okay. We testing out the water. We're going to see how this goes. We're going to see how this goes. Manhattan, Charming, Tom. Those are five to two. You never know. It's a long, long race. So yeah, yeah, it's it's kind of Come on, Come on, bye. Three, four. We're still running. <laughs> well, better luck next time, I guess. You know, you win some, you lose some. But it was fun, though, wasn't it? It was. Should we spend some more money? <laughs> it just means that next time we'll win. When are we gonna bet again? <laughs> I'm not taking credit anymore. <laughs> I told you guys I am terrible at betting on horses. We decided to get a change of scenery and headed to the casino to check out Pop's Bar, which is known for their awesome in-house band. We spent a while in here just because the band Cliff and Susan were so much fun. They had the whole bar singing and dancing with them the entire set. For dinner, we headed to The Bugler, Oak Lawn's upscale dining restaurant that offers up some seriously great views of the track. If you're a seafood lover, you gotta start with the Fire and Ice Seafood Tower. Not only is the presentation super fun, but it is piled high with scallops, oysters, mussels, crab, and shrimp, and it's so delicious. Wow. I also highly recommend this miso marinated Chilean sea bass. It was heavenly. Morning, so we are here at Reserve. We are stopping by here as our last stop here in Hot Springs. They're hosting us for their three course breakfast and they're going to show us around. This is a beautiful bed and breakfast here in Hot Springs. It's, this home is registered as a National Historic Landmark. They have beautifully restored this home and some of the other homes on the property. You can come here and stay. They do like a really beautiful combination of luxury with sort of like a nod to the history of this home. It's also pretty cool because you can see the track at Oak Lawn from the veranda. Let's come inside and get some breakfast and I'll show you around. An elegant estate steeped in history, the Reserve at Hot Springs is a new Hot Springs luxury hotel offering a contemporary take on elevated Southern hospitality traditions. The iconic W.C. Brown House, a former private mansion and national heritage landmark, has been fully restored to its Gilded Age glory. When you stay at the Reserve, this incredible three-course breakfast is included in your stay, probably mo the most luxe hotel breakfast I've ever had. After we finished our breakfast, we got to go on a tour of the home and the surrounding grounds and learn more about the history of this home and all the incredible work that they did to restore it to what you see today. I love that they give such a nod to the history. The decor in all the rooms is absolutely stunning. You really feel like you've kind of stepped back in time. The grounds are so beautiful and so peaceful and this would be such a beautiful place to get married and have the most gorgeous Southern wedding, would it not?
that does it for our trip to Hot Springs. We're jumping in the car. We're gonna drive back to the Little Rock Airport and go home. I hope you guys enjoyed this little adventure here in Arkansas. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye! Bye.